Good afternoon to my fellow engineers. Today we're going to be looking at advanced surfacing and this is going to be the first video in the advanced pack. Um, and it's going to be the first of five videos. And it's going to be tagging off what we looked at in the previous video which was the very final video in the intermediate pack. And that was just looking at surfaces and understanding what surfaces are and it's just a very very basic and quick overview of what they can do. So um, if you recall, surfaces are basically used to, uh, they're like, sh imagine like a sheet of paper or a sheet of fabric. Um, you know, they're infinitesimally thin and then they can be used to um, create complex shapes and then we can thicken them or we can use them as a replacing face for, um, to, to make a body panel or something like that. So we can use an extrusion that's flat and like a cube and it's boring and then we can use a surface to make it have an interesting face on it. Um, so as I said, yeah, we can use it to make uh, car body panels or uh, plane wings or something, something of the like, something that incorporates um, a curved surface. So as I said, that was a very quick overview of the surfaces of, of the previous week, but today we're going to have a very quick look at the um, advanced surfacing, you know, uh, using the surfaces that we've made and cutting them, cutting them up and you know, making slightly different shapes and, and, and making more complex shapes as well. So the way that we're going to be doing that um, we we make all of our surfaces in the part environment, and that's that's a given. Okay, and the way that surfaces work, as I said, this this was covered very briefly in the previous video. That the way, the way that surfaces work are you have to you um, on two planes you have to select um, uh, some geometry that you're going to manipulate into a surface. So the way that we're going to be doing that is we're going to be sweeping a well one one shape along another shape. So I'll show you what I mean by that. So, so, so you always start in the sketch environment to make your surface. And today we're going to be making a bracelet. Because bracelets are, are quite easy to make in a surfaced environment. So I'll make this uh, well, the width of a width of a um, wrist wrist is probably fifty millimeters, I'd say. This might be a bit too big to be a bracelet, but it'll be it'll be fine. Okay, so we're going to find a shape and we're going to extrude that shape along and this is going to be our path for the bracelet. Okay, so that's our first plane done, that's our path done. Now we need to design the actual bracelet -y part. Make about that thick. I'm sure that might be a bit too big. It'll be fine. It'll be a big bracelet. Okay. So now we've got this sort of shape that's going to be extruded along here. And actually, I've just had a thought. We're going to change. Uh, we're, going to, we're, we're not going to use that shape. We're going to use a different shape. We're going to use it on that plane. Because obviously if it was on the other plane, it's kind of going into the surface and into the sweep. And whilst it may work, it, it just wouldn't get a very good result. Whereas this way it's kind of perpendicular to the initial point of the sweep, so it have a much more pronounced effect. So as I said, uh, as, as we covered in, in the previous video, we're just going to use the sweep tool here. A single path and cross section. I might show you how to do multi, multi path and cross section another time. But for now, this is fine to do single path and cross section. So we're going to select um, what... Uh, what our path is going to be. So this is going to be our path. And then the area, um, as it were, that we're, we're going to drag around this path is uh, that. So as you can see, we've got a, it, whilst it is thin, uh, you know, in, in terms of, uh, as I said, like a sheet of paper, it's infinitesimally thin. This is our, as a, this is our new surface. And we will go ahead and thicken that at the end of the video. So that it's obviously an actual, uh, actual, um, uh, like an actual bracelet. Um, we'll just uh, hide these sketches here by clicking the cursors. That just means that that line, if you see here, that line obviously turns up and, and looks through the middle because it's it's an important feature. But if I hide it, then it's not it's not seen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, 
cut a little hole out the top of here, um, like a little circle or something like that. Um, so uh, just to make the bracelet look nicer, and we could obviously copy that part around, and we could make it look you know, more aesthetically pleasing or something like that. But just add some add some features to this. So because it's in a surface environment, you can't use the cut command. Cut commands only work on existing components. And yes, of course, you could go ahead and thicken this, make it an actual part, and then cut it, and that would work. But obviously that's not the point of the video. The point of the video is, is, is to introduce a new way of doing things. So the way that we're going to be doing that is I'm going to make... Um, uh, we're going to cut a hole at the top of here, and I'll cut a hole in, into the sides here as well. Um, so there'll be like, a, like three holes. And the way that you, you cut holes into surfaces is you um, you have to get a sketch onto the part um, and, and effectively uh, like a, a, a pencil marker sketch and say, right, I want to use this sketch as my cutting path. Now I want to drag my scissors through this, this sketch and then I want to chuck away that part in the middle. And the way that you get a sketch onto a curved part is you make a curved, you make a sketch on a flat plane like we've done many times before and then you say I want that uh, flat plane sketch to be projected onto this uh, curved sketch. So you cannot make a, uh, a, a sketch on a curved plane um, uh, in this way so we have to make a sketch um, we, have to, we have to make a sketch um, elsewhere and then we use the project tool and say right this sketch I want to, to project onto this curve uh, almost like a, almost like a shadow. So we're gonna make um, our sketch using a parallel plane and the way the parallel plane works, I'm sure I've used it before, is you just say uh, I want to be in line with this plane but I want it to be a bit higher up so that's a new plane and we're just going to make a, um, uh, a cut out here uh, we'll, do, we'll do an ellipse today be in line with that and it's got to be in line with that and actually I might might even do this. Okay, so we're going to cut, we're going to say this uh, ellipse here has to project onto the curve and then um, we're going to use that curve to cut, to cut out. Okay. So we've drawn the flat plane and that's our first part. Now what we need to do is we need to project this onto there. So we use the project command up here. We select what we want to project. We select where we want to project it. And then we say, right, do we want to project it up? Well, we can't project it up um, because there's nothing to project it onto, but we can project it down because that way it'll obviously project onto the surface. Okay, and I'll get rid of that sketch just to hide it. So now we've got what we want to cut out, but as I said, this is this is just a pencil mark at the minute, and quite like if you had a piece of paper and you you drew a pe uh, with a pencil on a piece of paper, um, you wouldn't it, it wouldn't cut it out. You actually have to go away with the piece of paper with the pencil mark on it and cut along the lines. So now we have to say right, we want to trim this piece of paper or trim this bracelet using this as our kind of cutting path. And the way that we do that is um, uh, we we go into the modified surfaces uh, surfaces area. And we select the trim command. Now the way the trim command works is you uh, you say the, the first step is uh, select what you want to trim. So in this case it would be the bracelet. Then it would be select how you want to trim it. You know along what path, which would be the circle the circle path. And then um, then you get the decision. You know do you want to do you want to keep this part here, or do you want to keep the little bit? And obviously we want to keep the majority of the bracelet, so we trim away this center. So we select um, we select our bracelet. The, uh, the next thing is to select the um, the curve that we're going to cut along. And then you enter this blue environment, and it says, right, do you want to keep the bracelet or do you want to keep this? And the way it works is the question actually asks which one do you want to throw away, and we want to throw away the center, so we'll trim that. Okay, and now we've got uh, now we've got. Our, uh, our, our, um, our cut out now, like, the, like so. Okay, and as I said, I'll just do that again real quickly, just um, just to show you, uh, just in case you missed it. Um, 
we're going to now put holes in the sides of here as well. So I'll just do that now. This doesn't have to be perfect, but it'll look it'll look quite nice anyway. So there we go, we've got our 2D sketch. Now we're gonna project this sketch onto this curve. And instead of being left or right, we're gonna do it in both directions. Which is something that you can do, which is quite cool. Get rid of that sketch so we don't have to see it. And then we're just gonna trim. And you can select multiple things to trim along. So the good thing is lots of ledges. You can normally do uh, more than one thing. And we're just going to thicken this, as I said, because at the minute it's just a bracelet, um, and it's not. It's not. Uh, it's just a like a paper cut out of a bracelet. So we actually have to thicken this, and we're going to thicken it with these. Uh, maybe not by uh, six millimeters. <laughs> Maybe by, maybe by three millimeters, and we're going to thicken that in these. Okay. And obviously, these these lines are a bit distracting, so we can just get rid of these projection lines as well. And there you go. There we've got our bracelet. 